Hello. After last week's video about the Eyes Wide Shut Mansion and its secrets, it seemed only right that I follow that up with a story about the strange Rothschild's mask party that happened back in 1972. You see the host and hostess pictured here because it's always being compared to the Eyes Wide Shut Mansion cult party. Let's see if there really are any similarities or connections. I guess we should start at the beginning here with the actual invitation to a very special costume party called the Surrealist Ball in December of 1972. If you look closely, you can see it's actually written backwards. Crazy. But you needed a mirror to read it. And people had to come dressed formally and with Surrealist masks or headgear. In case you didn't know, the Surrealist theme was inspired by Surrealist artists such as René Magritte, whose work is seen here, and Salvador Dali. Surrealism was a 20th century avant-garde art movement that sought creativity in the unconscious mind and dreams. Now, I'm sorry, this is the best pic I could find of the Chateau in France, where the Rothschild's party was held on that night and it's lit up with amber lights because the hostess, Marie Helene de Rothschild, wanted it to look like the house was on fire. This party is already crazy before you even get inside. Now here is a pic of Mentmore Towers where the Ice White Shut Mansion party was filmed and which was built for the Rothschilds in England. And you can see it's all lit up too, though it appears to be bathed in blue light instead of amber. But it's a striking similarity in my opinion. Both houses architecturally are a bit similar and both are lit up. Next, we can look at some of the masks that were worn at the Rothschild's party, including this stag's head with real diamond tears worn by the hostess. Then there were more surrealist pieces like this obvious nod to Magritte. Here's Audrey Hepburn with a birdcage on her head it's very similar to this Magritte painting. Now, most of the masks at this 1972 party are really more ornate than most of the masks that are in the Eyes Wide Shut party. And you'll notice that many of the people here still have their faces at least partially showing. Even in heavy makeup, you can still see them. Whereas in Eyes Wide Shut, the guests are really anonymous. You can see here that most of the guests in Eyes Wide Shut have their faces completely covered. You can't tell what they might be thinking. So as far as the masks are concerned, I don't really think there's a huge similarity between the two parties, just the fact that they both have masks. At Red Cloak's party, there seems to be a different purpose. Now, there is another odd connection between these Rothschild parties and Stanley Kubrick. And that has to do with another party the Rothschilds gave the year before in 1971 called the Proust Ball after the writer's 100th birthday. Elizabeth Taylor was there looking like a princess. This party was a bit more high fashion as opposed to surrealist. But another actress that was there was Marissa Berenson who looked really amazing here. And if you didn't know, she actually starred in the Kubrick film, Barry Lyndon as Lady Lyndon. So there's a direct connection here between the Rothschild parties and Stanley Kubrick as one of his lead actresses actually went to these parties. Maybe he even heard details, I don't know, but he would certainly have been aware of them. Another odd detail of the 1972 Rothschild party, and one you may not know, is there was actually a maze at this party. Yeah, I know, Shades of the Shining. I wasn't expecting that, and no, I haven't been able to find any pics of this maze at the party, but there are descriptions that state that you actually had to enter a maze before you got into the actual party. And if you got lost, one of the staff, dressed as a cat, would help you get out. 
then you got into the party. This is an obvious connection to another Kubrick film, The Shining, in which all of the main characters are inside a maze at some point and sometimes seem like they are lost in it. Well, to sum up, it seems there are some real connections between the Eyes Wide Shut party to the 1972 Rothschilds party, though I think there's a completely different purpose to Kubrick's mansion party. Both are held in large mansions that are lit up on the outside. Both involve masked people, and one of Kubrick's lead actresses actually went to these Rothschild parties. But the Kubrick mansion party involves a rather serious ritual. It has a different purpose. Well, I hope you enjoyed my new video. I'm looking to make something a bit different for Halloween coming up, maybe a video on one of my favorite horror movies. And of course, I'm working on another Kubrick video. Oh, and here's a trivia question for you. Do you notice anything unusual about this table setting from the Rothschilds party? If you do, let me know in the comments. And thank you for spending time with me. Have a good day.